Hi, it's Casey D. Gardner with Discovery News. Right behind me is where the University of Minnesota is building what they hope will be the first certifiable green football stadium in the United States. It seems like everyone is trying to build green these days, but sports teams are often left out of that equation. The University of Minnesota is trying to change that with the construction of the TCF Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, the school's new football stadium and future home of the Golden Gophers. The university hopes to make it the most environmentally friendly major sports stadium in the country. So when we came to the opportunity of bringing football back to campus, it was only natural for us to say our stadium is going to be a green stadium. So how exactly does a stadium go green? One is the site itself. So we're cleaning up a brownfield site in the middle of the of the city. Another is the fact that many of the building materials will be coming from very close by the stadium. 90% of the steel they're using is recycled and made in Minnesota. Another is the energy conservation so that we will really be um, ensuring that the building uses about 10% less energy than a comparable type building. With features such as energy saving lights and low flush toilets. Last but not least is the factor that the site itself will be really like a park and across from the stadium there's going to be a rather substantial storm water management pond that will really retain some of the runoff and ensure through the use of those bioswales in that pond that before the water uh, goes into the storm drains and gets sent down to the Mississippi River that it's been cleaned. It's all of these factors that they hope will get the stadium, which will cover a sprawling 12 acres of land, certified by the Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. The stadium's hefty $250 million price tag is partly due to its sustainable engineering. But O'Brien says those investments are paid back in as soon as five years. And maybe this earth-friendly touch can bring some good luck to go for football when the stadium opens on September 12, 2009. Last year, the team won just one game. At the University of Minnesota for Discovery News, I'm Casey D. Gardner.